In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I welcome you to worship this morning. Particularly, I'd like to welcome any guests who may be here. Make sure you please sign in our guest book. And please join us downstairs after the service in the Guild Hall for refreshments and for conversation. With that, I invite you to look over my shoulder and join with me in our welcoming hymn, for you see all are always welcome in this place. And with that, I invite you to remain standing as our lay reader for this morning, Donna Shu, will lead you in our call to worship, our opening prayer, and then passing the peace. Good morning, Donna. If, yeah, good morning. I see you over there. Good morning. <laughs> if you would, please. Please join me uh, in the call to worship. Come, let us reap the benefits of our privilege. In our worship, let us return to God with our whole being, let us rejoice and be glad. Come, let us respond to one another with love and generosity. In our worship, let us embrace life with open arms and open hearts. Come, let us be the people of faith we are called to be. In our worship, let us be responsible to a loving God and are vigilant about how we live. Come, let us seek to have a voice even when the world in which we live denies it. God hears us. Let us celebrate. We are not the same, yet God treasures our relationships. We are very different in our approaches to life, yet we were all created by our loving God and embraced in God's everlasting arms. In our worship, let us come together. Let us be the family we were created to be. In our, in our worship, worship, let, let us, us receive, receive one, one another and, and our loving, loving God, God with thanksgiving and, and hope. Please join me in the opening prayer. Holy, Holy God, God, we, we come, come before, before you, thankful that you love us as we are. We are, we are creatures of your hands. hands. We, we are, are a community formed by your spirit. spirit. You, you are, are the potter. The potter we, we are, are the clay. clay. With, With your, your sure and loving hands, shape us through the grace of Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. And now the passing of the peace. Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As God has sent me, so I send you. When he said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. May the peace of the Lord be with you. And also, also with you. Words, quiet, there are no need for words of your own. Listen and be still. And with that, I'd like to introduce you, of course, Charlie. Charlie, you have a word or two for us? I just want to say, first of all, thank my friend. I don't think you're on, Charlie. They must have known I was going to be singing. <laughs> uh, just introduce my friends here, Jim Forrest and Mike Sexy. And... Um, uh, what I wanted to mention, though, is next weekend with the Joyful Noise it is a contemporary Christian group that played together quite a bit for about 10 years back around 2000. And it's kind of the template that Pastor Phil and I want to do here. Now, last year we tried to do that, and we weren't able to get enough interest with parishioners. To, I need some musicians to play and some singers, that kind of thing. So I'm hoping that we, a lot of people will come and hear it and be inspired, and, and maybe we can do something similar to it here. The other thing that we're going to do a little different is we're flipping the order of the songs here a little bit. We're going to do a song called Because He Lives First, okay? 
Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future, and life is worth the living just because he lives. God sent his son, they called him Jesus, he came to love, heal and forgive, he lived and died, to buy my pardon, an empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives. How sweet to hold a newborn baby and feel the pride and joy he gives, but greater still the calm assurance the child can face uncertain days because he lives. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. And then one day, I'll cross the river, I'll fight life's final war, with all its pain, and then as death gives way to victory, I'll see the lights of glory, and I'll know he lives. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. Here's a non secular song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pastor. Happy birthday to you. Needless to say, that wasn't practice. Thank <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Well, kids, I'm going to invite you all to come up. I'm also going to invite up 
the nursery committee. Today we're going to dedicate, rededicate the nursery. And like I said earlier, we invite you all to come downstairs after the service and see the great job that they did. But if you all would come forward, Tamara Sillers, Ethan Sillers, Caitlin Sillers, Carrie Hutton, Russ Gravine, I don't see Russ, but Teresa, come on up and take his place this morning. Nate Helke, Dustin Resch, Ella Breitenfeld, Gordy Hintz, Dennis Elliott, Jerry Waller, Jay Schultz, and Nora Schultz. If you guys are here, please come up and uh, kind of make a semicircle around the kids. We're going to do two things at one time this morning. Ella, I'm going to put you to work, though, right behind that banner. You're going to find a picture. Uh, well, it's not a picture. It's, our, it's Jesus. There he is. Okay. If you could bring him out, that'd be great, because we're going to talk about that in a second. All right. Um, I'll walk around. <coughs> All righty then. Now, Tamara, uh, you're standing in front of a picture. Can you hold that picture up? I'm going to put you and Ella to work for me this morning. There we go. Is, is, is it okay to hold it? It's a little bit heavy. Is it okay? Yeah, okay, good. Gordy, get into the mix somehow. All right. Well, you know, um, this is a time of the year, church, that we call Lent. And Lent is a time that's right before Easter where we kind of talk about Jesus' journey through life. Now remember, it wasn't that long ago that we are all here celebrating, what, Christmas, right? And Jesus' birth. But at Easter, in this time of Lent, now it's a little bit different. We're celebrating his life, his journey of life, and of course, even his death. And so it's really important to have a bigger picture of all the things that Jesus taught us. So I was thinking about this this morning, and I thought... To help me to make my point, I'd bring some pictures. Tamara happens to be holding, I think this is my favorite picture. Show everybody the picture and the kids too, if you don't mind. It's a picture of Jesus, and that's kind of just what artists think Jesus looked like. We really didn't have anybody to take photographs in those days. Yes, Austin? He's holding the light of the world. We talk about the light, right? He's holding the light of the world in this picture. This, this really is my favorite picture. It's hang, it hangs in our um, upstairs conference room. And Ella, I, I, thank you. And Ella had brought, uh, and I don't know if that's what, again, Jesus looked like or not. Probably was somewhat similar, maybe, but not exactly, perhaps, either. None of us really 100% know that. But the point is, not so much what he looked like, but what he taught us. And what he taught us is to love and to be compassionate and to show empathy for everybody that we come in contact with. You know, even as, and this is true of adults and kids as well, you know, we don't always like everybody. There's sometimes people we just don't care for. But Jesus says, you know, no matter what, love them anyhow. And that's a huge lesson that all of us need to learn in life. Always things don't go the way we want. Not everybody is exactly the way we'd like them to be, but Jesus says, love them anyhow. To be honest with you, these pictures that are in the upstairs conference room, um, I put them up in there because that's where we do our business as a council for the church. And I want us always to remember that we're doing that business for Jesus. And that's why those pictures are there. So as we continue our journey through Lent, I'm hoping the Sunday school teachers will talk to you about some of those amazing lessons that he's taught us and the gifts that he's given. Now, one of those gifts that are given for all of you today is a whole new nursery area and a whole new Abba's Cafe. So um, I guess, Nate, Tamara, come up front and forward. If you want to, you can lean that back. You hold that side of this ribbon. And we're actually, you know, I wanted to do it in the sanctuary instead of downstairs. Whoop. How much ribbon do I got? Here we go, Teresa. You want to hold the other end? Come on up front, Tara Tamara, with the amazing scissor. Hold on a second. We have some. Yeah, that's a dangerous, that is one heck of a scissor, so I'm going to give you that one for sure. <laughs> we rejoice in having completed the renovation of our nursery. And with heartfelt gratitude, we now reconsecrate this nursery and this church to the glory of God. We rededicate this nursery for the hallowing of the family life, for the teaching and guiding of our children, for the upbuilding of all who believe, and the perfecting of the saints. 
Peace be with this nursery and all who gather there. Peace be to those who enter and those who go out and come in. Peace be to those who love this house and who love the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Please be with me for a moment of prayer. God of grace and wisdom, we offer this nursery to you as a learning and teaching place. Grant that we will join you in a co-adventure, learning and teaching your holy word. Help us to be bold explorers, seeking the truth about our responsibility as stewards of creation. Awaken our compassion, our conviction to bring change to this world. Embrace us all as your children of the word, as we embrace learners of all ages. Fill us with your spirit, breathe us all into the light of your love. Amen. And with that, Tamara, uh, we dedicate. Your kids want to help her? I don't know. You ready? How about on three? Would that work? Should we count it down, everybody, for Tamara and the kids? Are you ready, Tamara? One, two, three. There we go. Thank you. And Tamara and community, thank you for all the hard work. If you've not gone downstairs, please do so after the service. It is absolutely gorgeous, and it even smells brand new. How about that? That's really very good. So, again, thank you. Guys, we'll see you all later. Thank you. And with that, we invite Donna to come forward. She is already there. <laughs> and she will be doing our New Testament lesson of 2 Corinthians 5, verses 17 through 21. Charlie will then provide special music, and I will do the gospel lesson, which I am primarily preaching from today of Luke 21. So, Donna, if you would, please. When anyone is joined to Christ, he is a new being. The old is gone, the new has come. All this is done by God, who through Christ changed us from enemies into his friends and gave us the task of making others his friends also. Our message is that God was making all mankind his friends through Christ. God did not keep an account of their sins. And he's given us the message which tells us how he makes them his friends. Here then, we speak for Christ, as though God himself were making his appeal through us. We plead on Christ's behalf. Let God change you from enemies into his friends. Christ was without sin, but for our sake, God made him share our sin in order that the, in this union with him, we might share the righteousness of God. And that ends our New Testament lesson today. Charlie, if you would please. Blessed song where the seeds of love are sown. Angels sing hallelujah up on high. Go into the sacred place, see the light of Jesus' face, and there'll be no more tears to cry. 
There's some frightened folks I know Mighty scared of letting go Holding on to life on earth Afraid to die Up in heaven there's no fear When I'm finally out of here There'll be no more tears to cry No more tears to cry I'll kiss the world goodbye Take my final wave and I'll be gone, gone, gone To my home up in the sky I will spread my wings and fly There'll be no more tears to cry When I tour those pearly gates where the peaceful valley waits down the side of rock of ages by and by and I'll walk that holy mile just to smile and all the while there'll be no more tears to cry no more tears to cry I kiss the world goodbye Take my final wave and I'll be gone, gone, gone To my home up in the sky I will spread my wings and fly There'll be no more tears to cry No more tears to cry, I'll kiss the world goodbye. Take my final wave and I'll be gone, gone, gone. To my home up in the sky, I will spread my wings and fly. And I'll be no more tears to cry. To my home up in the sky, I will spread my wings and fly. And there'll be no more tears to cry. Mm -hmm.